Hi, it's Miss Sunshine. So I just want to make this quick little video for you guys because this was on my heart this morning. So, um, and it's definitely out of the blue, just something I thought about and um, the Lord said it in my spirit, basically. So, um, and that is, I want to talk to you guys about real estate agents. So, um, when you get approved, um, through NACA to go ahead and start looking for houses, they will either assign you a real estate agent or you can bring in an outside real estate agent, um, preferably one that is familiar with the NACA process because the NACA process is a little different than, you know, just a regular old bank process that you're going through. Similar but different. Um, so basically I went with an outside agent, real estate agent. The first go around, um, I went with the inside agent and she did not have any time for me. She did not have any time. She was so booked and busy to where she was overbooked and she could not focus on anything for me at all. Like she sent me her welcome packet and that was kind of it. I believe I made a little video on this a while back, maybe a year or two ago, to let you know about my real estate agent experience. So off the radio, I heard about a real estate agents that um, were based in the Christian community, basically. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. And uh, I'm a Christian, so I was like, you know, if anything, let me give her a try. Let me give that company a try. Um, I still think that was the worst mistake that I made. I did not vet her like I should have. So, and I did not vet the company like I should have. Um, what you need to do is do your due diligence when it comes to a real estate agent. Because once you, once you, um, what do you call it? Uh, brain fart, brain fart. Um, once you, once you go under contract, that's what I'm looking for. Once you go under contract, you're also going under contract with this real estate agent. Did you guys know that? Yes, you're going under contract with your home in the bank and um, with your real estate agent. She has this he or she has to sign paperwork at that um, at that little part of it as well. The paperwork that you sign when you get under contract, you go under contract with the both of them. And there's no backing out at that point when it comes to real estate agent because she is tied or he is tied to the monies that's going to come out of it for them. So they get a, a piece of the pie too. They're just not doing this for free. All right. So along with that, you're also going to be signing paperwork with your real estate agent separately. If they're with a company or if they're an individual, they're probably going to have you sign some paperwork with them as well. With that, read everything. Read everything. With NACA, from when I was purchasing my home, you are not supposed to be paying your real estate agent any administrative fees. You are not supposed to be paying them anything. So when they say when you get to closing with your closing cashier's check, you need to have a separate one for me. Um, no, you do not do that when it comes to NACA. They want you to sign a form when you get into contract with them saying that you agree to yada yada real estate fees or administrative fees. You're not supposed to be paying any fees. Do not forget that. If you have any issue or any problems with that and you question it, do not sign. Let them know you want to get the, can I take these papers home? Next business day, get in touch with your MC and you make sure you ask them, is this something that I need to be signing? Um, call the NACA hotline, speak to somebody in NACA and ask them and show them if you can this paperwork. Uh, if your MC says that she or he or she is out of it at this point in time till you get ready to close, that's fine. Call, call NACA. 
Somebody needs to tell you in NACA if this is something you should be signing or not because they can slide them fees in there and you're going to end up with a problem at the end of the day because they'll have this paperwork that says, you said that you were going to pay this, you know, and you're going through enough headache as it is with closing and with NACA period where you don't need a real estate agent that's trying to mess you up at the end of the day. You're trying to purchase a home for your future and your family here, not um, mess yourself up any further. Now with a regular bank, you're probably gonna have to pay those fees. That's that's just um, something that you'll probably have to do. But if you're going through NACA, as far as I know, you should not be paying any of those fees. Do your due diligence with your real estate agent. Do not let them push you into buying a house. Do not let them push you into going over your spending limit. Remember, NACA is trying to get you into a home that's affordable for the amount of money that you make, okay? The real estate agent might ask you what your cap is, but still get you a house and tell you, let's go see this house that's twenty, twenty-five thousand, or fifty thousand dollars over budget. Okay, you you then you tell them why are you showing me this house when this is not over this is over the budget. Um, don't let them talk you into something because remember who's responsible for that mortgage payment after you close. You are, exactly. What is that real estate agent going to do? He or she is going to collect their check and move along to the next, okay? That's not saying that there are bad people. You've got some real estate agents out there that will go to the bat for you, which is what all of them should be doing. But you've got, you've got some that are just out there trying to swindle you. You have to do your due diligence and be smart enough and know what you're doing here because you're locked in for 30 years here. You know, you're locked in for 15 years here. You're locked in for a long time unless you got it like that and you're paying for these houses cash, okay? I'm not the one and I know you guys aren't either. So make sure you are doing your due diligence when you're researching your real estate agent. Look at reviews. Try to go with someone that you know that you can trust because if you don't, you'll end up regretting it. Um, I personally regret the real estate agent that I went through. Both of the real estate agents that I purchased, um, that, I, that I just went through and had business with, I personally think that um, I'm, I'm still blessed at what I have, but I still think that I was pushed. And me not knowing that, well, I didn't have any other good choices at the time. Well, the rest of this subdivision wasn't even built at the time that I purchased my home and I should have waited. I, I said that I should have waited. I wish that I have waited, but I still love my purchase, but I don't love the fact of the real estate agent that I had. So just learn from my experiences that's the only reason that i put these videos up is for you guys not to make any of the mistakes i did and just to have a good experience it's stressful enough it's stressful enough we all know that okay so all right um eight minutes almost nine minutes in so that's all i have for you today guys happy sunday i'm not editing this i'm just putting it up as it is i pray that everyone's doing well stay safe during COVID. if you got your vaccines God bless you. If you did it, God bless you. Um, whatever you're doing in life, I pray nothing but blessings and happiness for you. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm going to try to do some sunshine tips today. All right. Have a blessed Sunday. I love you all. Bye.